It all began as a vision, a vision of a bishop for a people with a long, rich history of mission work. In 2001, Bishop Neil Irons shared the idea of a mission center, a hands-on kind of place where persons could be the hands and the feet of God in service. The bishop appointed 35 persons to a task force. Um, they decided to be three areas that we would focus on primarily, mission education, we place for mission outreach, and the last part would be disaster response, since we live in an area that we do have some flooding here in the Susquehanna Valley, uh, that we would be more uh, closely aligned to respond for, for disasters. So those were the three primary areas. The location for the suggested name Mission Central would be a new building adjacent to the conference center on Mulberry Drive. It would cost three and a half million dollars to buy land and build the building. Mission Central would open in June of 2004. But something changed. A building for lease twice the size of the plan and air conditioned came to the attention of Bishop Irons who offered to purchase the building from the owners. Uh, they got back to us the next day and said they were going to offer us the building for $2.45 million, a million dollars less than it would cost us to build a place half as big up the street. It sits on a larger piece of property in a much bigger building. And they committed to give us $245,000. In June 2002, the purchase of 5 Pleasant View Drive was miraculously approved. Mission Central opened June 28, 2002, two years early. Mission Central has been involved with every major disaster since 2002. The disaster response part of the original triple purpose goal is met continually. Missionaries come here and provide programming. Mission displays are always changing for United Methodist Ministries and non-United Methodist Ministries. A decision was made early on that Mission Central would be ecumenical. Work with ministries both denominational and non-denominational is very intentional. We're going to walk out in the warehouse and I'm going to show you some of the ministries that are here. Those things that are on there now are flood buckets and things like that for, for UMCOR. Now the stuff behind over here is a pro Project Cure. That's from Colorado. Um, the, this material right here that say FFCM on them, that's for the Fruit Belt Farm Workers Christian Ministry. We average about 20 to 25 volunteers a day. Unlike a lot of ministries of our type, we don't have an age cut off for volunteers. This is an example of health kits from UMCOR. Uh, UMCOR is United Methodist Committee on Relief, and we work on all those kits. This time of year, we try to have about 2,500 flood buckets here because we're getting ready to go into the hurricane season. One of the things which we have done now uh, since actually February of last year we are now have hubs, and you may have heard about those. We have eight hubs now, uh, seven in Pennsylvania. One, our seventh one's going to open in our conference uh, shortly, um, and that'll be up in the Wellsboro District. Uh, but we have four in the State College District, um, and we have uh, two north of that. We have one in uh, New, York, New York State now, in Cortland, New York, right off of 81. And a hub is basically a mini Mission Central. This area back here is Bethesda Missions Food Ministry. The bikes, uh, we started collecting bikes, we use those locally, and tomorrow a group called Bikes for the World will be here and take the rest of the bikes which we have. So This is our sewing room, and this is where we make school kit bags. That area down there is the computer ministry, um, and they collect computers, uh, previous generation computers. What we've learned is our ministry really to the people that come in the door. Uh, the boxes are a means but the real ministry is to the people.